When begin working at the basic phoneme level, the first thing we want students to be able to do is just to simply take a word that has four sounds and break that word into individual speech sounds. And for many kids, the best place to start is just by modeling with some letters what this might look like. So we wanna pick words where the spelling doesn't change, and I'll show you an example of that. So you would actually start by writing some letters. So for instance, the word slick. S-L-I-K, slick. And then you would ask the student, what happens if we take slick and we take away the s, we get lick. Now this can be a very difficult step for students moving to this level. And if you're using a quip for reading success, this would be the H1 for the deletion and H2 for substitution. I've had some beginning first graders kids that really have difficulty with that phonemic awareness and they've actually needed to spend some time with letters first for a little bit of time. And once they're able to get the hang of that, then we move in to using manipulatives. So I like to use game chips or some unifix cubes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and model how we would then progress to having the student take the letters away and use these uh, manipulatives. So we're going to begin by just segmenting. So for instance, if I have a word like clock, we just wanna segment. K, b, a, so we start with segmenting. Once students are able to do that, then we can delete that initial phoneme. So for instance, if we have a word like snip, 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 we say snip without s, and we get nip. Okay, another example, troll, t, r, o, troll, troll without t. Now you can see what I was doing was first tapping the chips or you could have the students drag them down. Once they get to the point where they're, they become very good at segmenting, you don't need to have that step. You can just have the chips already there and just say the word and delete that initial phoneme. Now, the next step would be substituting that phoneme and that's going to be level H2 if you're using a quip for reading success. So the way this would look is the same. You say the word, student repeats, and you begin by segmenting. Blue, say blue. O, o, change b to g, and we get glue. Okay, another example. Say the word free, f, r, e, change f to t, and we get tree. Okay, we'll do one more example. Say block, b, o, a, k, block, change b to k, and we get clock, okay? And that's levels H1 and H2 and equipped for reading success.